Hey everyone, Nathan here from the ebook reader blog. For this video, I'm going to give you guys a comparison review between the new Kindle Paperwhite 5 and the Kindle Oasis 3. So, I mean, there really isn't a whole lot to say in this review that you can't just figure out from reading the product pages at Amazon. I mean, mostly what it just comes down to is the design differences. The Oasis has its own thing going on here with the like weird contoured back. They used to have a cover that was magnetic and made it flush, but then they abandoned that idea. So uh, now it just kind of has this weird thing going for it. Um, Paper white, you know, you got the more standard design, you got the rubbery back. Uh, Oasis has the aluminum back, so it feels more premium in your hand. It's got a glass front screen where I think I'm pretty sure uh, the Paper White has a plastic front layer over the screen. So the Paper White adds a USB C port. The Oasis is still using the older micro USB. Uh, so, you know, the Oasis was designed in 2017, so it's been out for quite a while now. They did update it in 2019, added a warm light. But otherwise, it's still the exact same design. Paper white, it's basically the same design as a paper white four as well, but just a little bit larger with the 6.8 inch ink screen. Oasis has a seven inch ink screen. It's got that rotation sensor so that you can uh, flip the screen between your hands. Uh, use the page buttons. Here's kind of a look at the overall size difference between the two. Obviously, the paper white's a bit taller, a bit narrower. The Oasis is just a little bit lighter at about 188 grams. The paper white five is like 205 grams. Paperwhite definitely has advantage with better battery life in that regard. Uh, so let's talk about the uh, front lights and the screen a little bit here. Really, there's, you know, no real advantage one way or the other. They both look very similar in person. I mean, it can be a little bit different when you have these bright overhead lights on. But for the most part, I mean, the screens look nearly identical. Front lights are very similar as well. You got the uh, front lights a little bit brighter, though, on the Oasis. It has more LEDs, as you can see here. If you crank up the brightness on it, it is a little bit brighter. I don't know why anybody would use full brightness, but it's there. So uh, I did narrow it down or take it down a couple notches to kind of match the paper white's brightness. Um, but as far as the orange light goes, I mean, very similar colors as far as the warm goes. So the paper white, they finally added the warm front light with the paper white 5. The Oasis has had it for the past couple of years. Uh, so you had to spend a lot more to get the warm front light on the Oasis because it starts at 250. Uh, whereas the paper white starts at 139 so now you can get a lot more reasonably priced Kindle if you just want to use a warm front light, which is nice. Um, both devices, like I said, front light's very similar, um, very uniform on both of them. You just got a little bit brighter on the Oasis. They both have the auto brightness sensor. If you have the signature edition paper white, the uh, base model does not have the auto brightness. That's only on the upgraded signature edition, which has 32 gigabytes of storage. The Oasis also available with either 8 or 32 gigabytes of storage. So here's a look at the front light with the uh, overhead lights turned off. A little bit more natural room lighting just to kind of get an idea what the screens would look like, uh, you know, in a more natural setting instead of with bright overhead lights on. we got the same font and layout settings here. You can see, like, the page is laying out pretty much exactly the same to the end. Every once in a while you get a little bit more, like a half a sentence longer on the Oasis. But, you know, difference in screen size is... You know, very, very small, 0.2 inches. It doesn't really translate to much functionally. So when comparing the Paperwhite 5 with the Paperwhite 4, you could tell that the Paperwhite 5 has a little bit better screen. These newer screens you're using have deeper contrast. Uh, I can't really see much of a difference between these two, though. It's like maybe the blacks are just a little bit darker on the Paperwhite. If so, it's pretty subtle. I think the uh, glass layer on the Oasis lets light through a little bit better than the plastic layer on the Paperwhite. So it's kind of a wash with the upgraded contrast on the newer screen of the Paperwhite. I mean, it might be a slight bit of difference, but here well, I'll change sides here because sometimes the camera kind of emphasizes one side more than the other. But I mean, pretty much looks the same in person as far as the blacks go and the text clarity. So I can't really say that one's better than the other. They're very, very, very similar. Uh, both have 300 PPI, of course, and, you know, really not much of a difference as far as the size goes. Text lays out about the same uh, either way. Software-wise, there really isn't much to talk about. I mean, they run the exact same software. I am running the older software on the Oasis here, as you'll notice, though, so it will look a little bit different, but if you have the software updated on both of these, they're going to be exactly the same. Overall performance is very similar on these two devices. As you can see, page turns are just a little bit faster on the new Paperwhite. It's really not significant enough to be you know, notable. Um, loading the menus and stuff like that, it's really very similar. Obviously, with the, with the page buttons on the Oasis, you can navigate that way as well, so... Uh, it really just comes down to the differences in the design. Software, you're going to be exactly the same. The only difference I can find is the uh, Paperwhite 5 has this new page turn animation setting um, that hasn't been ported over to the other models yet. I don't know if Amazon's going to add that to the other models at some point as well, but presently only available on the Paperwhite 5. And it also does that with uh, PDFs. So uh, if you load up a PDF on the Paperwhite, it's going to have that partial refresh instead of that full black 
flash like the Oasis does. So whenever you have PDFs, it'll do the full page refresh every page like this. Uh, so it's kind of nice on the new Paperwhite how it's less you know, jarring. It doesn't do the whole screen flash. It just kind of goes a little bit from left to right. There's also less ghosting on the Paperwhite screen. That's like the most noticeable difference I can see between these two devices. My Oasis has always had a little bit of ghosting issues where you can see like background text and the white parts. Um, Paperwhite, you don't really get that at all. It's very clean, very clear on the white parts of the screen and also much better when it comes to pinch zooming, much smoother and more responsive than the Oasis. So as far as page turns go, not a huge difference like when it comes to eBooks, but like with PDFs and stuff, uh, it's definitely an improvement on the Paperwhite 5 having that partial transition and it also is just smoother for zooming and stuff like that. So I wanted to load up a comic here just to kind of compare the screens, but I really can't see much of a difference at all here. If contrast is any better on the Paperwhite, it's subtle. I mean, the deep blacks might just be a little bit darker. It's, it's really subtle though. So, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video review. Like I said, it just basically comes down to the design differences. The fact that Paperwhite now has USB-C and then Signature Edition has the option for wireless charging, has some upgrades not available on the Oasis. I don't think the Oasis is gonna stay around a whole lot longer in its current form. I don't know, maybe it'll get discontinued, but maybe they'll release the new model in 2022. I don't know, but I mean, I still really like the page button, so it's not going anywhere for me. I do like it just for that reason alone, but thank you guys for watching. Bye.